Hi, this is Priya from Awesome TV, and we're here at the beautiful Roxy Hotel in New York City, and it's a beautiful day today. And we're here to see the cast and the filmmaker from Translators. Can't wait to show you guys what we have in store. So stay tuned. Hi, I've got Virginia here from the Translators. Can you tell us what your role was for this movie? My role in this movie was basically being a translator for my parents and basically showing what I do in a daily basis whenever my parents need me to translate something for them, whenever they need me to go to work with them and tell them what they, the work needs from them and showing people how they are well heard about all of this translating situation and I basically show how stressful and how much pressure we have but also how important our role as translators are. What did you, uh, what, how did this um, be, movie mean for you? It meant a lot. I felt that translators are not well recognized. They're not something common these days. And I feel that this movie meant a lot for not only me, but for my family, from other people, from other persons who are translating that they might not feel well appreciated or they don't think it's important. Mm -hmm. And this movie means to me that other people can feel connected and feel the same way that some of us feel that they don't have to be alone in this, that there's a lot of people doing the same thing and they got all of the support. And how does it feel being here in Tribeca? I'm, I'm really excited. I am really happy to give my opinion, give my ideas to show how important it is to be a translator. I feel thankful for all of the opportunities. Thank you. I'm so thankful for the US Bank and Ruby who has given me so many steps and opportunities and open so many doors to me that I am really happy. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Um, could you tell us a little bit about uh, how this movie met for you and anything else related to the movie? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I this movie actually came to me from U.S. Bank. They had this idea, you know, they've been trying to bridge the gap of the language gap that they've been seeing in their communities. And so they wanted to tell a larger story and they came to me and, and asked if it, would, it was something I was interested in and it immediately took me back to my childhood of, you know, I wasn't a translator, but my parents had this little Mexican grocery store that was sort of a hub in our, in our community. And I can't tell you how many times people came in and asked my parents, you know, can you go and translate for me at my kid's school or at the hospital or like all these various places. And every single time my parents would pick me up, lock the door and we'd be on our way to go and translate. And so all of these ideas were converging at the same time. It like brought back memories of my childhood and the importance of language. And, and I couldn't not to be a part of it. I mean, you, you do the research and you see there are 11 million kids in our country translating for their for their families. There are, you know, a third of Hispanic uh, families don't speak English. And so it's such an important and large part of our communities across the country. And I wanted to be a part of telling that story. What were the, some of the challenges making this movie? I mean, the challenge with making any film like this that is sort of personal and, and when you're dealing with, with children is making sure that they're comfortable, making sure that they understand why you're there. And, you know, because you want it to be honest and you want it to be um, uh, as true to what's going to happen. And so we wanted to find people who were comfortable. And, you know, you met Virginia earlier. Yes. She's absolutely amazing. We found amazing uh, people. And so it was a challenge. You know, we did a nationwide search looking for for families to be a part of this. And so it was tough to find that initially. And then I think just, you know, with any film, especially a verite film like this, you know, spending the time and, and earning that trust and doing all it is always a challenge. But as you can see in the film, I mean, it pays off if you do it the right way. These these kids and families, they're amazing. What, are you, what do you think the audience, one of the one takeaways that they would have by watching the movie? Yeah, I mean, I think that there are a couple versions of takeaways on this. One is you see yourself. You know, I've had so many people come up to me and say, that was my childhood. I used to do that for my family. And they see themselves and they get to understand that they're not alone, that there's so many other people doing this. And then there are people who have no concept of this and no way to personally relate, but they get to understand that this is something happening in their community because it's happening in every single community across our country. And so it's it's sort of twofold. You get to open your eyes to something new that maybe you didn't understand and, and are able to now empathize with it, or you get to understand that you're not alone and you're a part of this larger, larger sort of fabric of our country. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm so happy to be here tonight. Well, being a part of this movie, what did it mean for you? Well, it's it's been wonderful to be an ambassador for the film. Um, Rudy Valdez, the director, did such a beautiful job at highlighting the stories of three families that represent so many 
families that are having basically struggling to um, communicate um, because they don't speak the language. And what many people don't know is that uh, 11 million kids are the translators for their parents in this country of, of families that really contribute greatly to this country. And so I think this, this documentary um, really hit home for me because I've had that history in, in my family, um, first generation Dominican American, and it's a beautiful um, way I feel like to demonstrate how important the stories of these families are um, in our country. So, And with the barriers, you know, well, how do you think it's um, broken them with this movie? I think um, the, there may be some misconceptions as to why someone might not speak a language and live in, in a certain country or how capable someone might be. I mean, I in my own family, um, I know my grandma is the strongest of of us all. Uh, she's the reason we're all here and she's worked so hard for all of us to make the living that we that we do today and have the living that we do today. Um, and while knowing that there have been many incidences where I can see someone might look at her because she speaks Spanish and not English in a way that is, you know, oh, she's not capable of of, of communicating for herself or she doesn't know what, what she needs. And so um, I've had the experiences of seeing my older siblings and myself, you know, uh, finding ourselves trying to translate for her some important things, but that doesn't mean that she's not worthy of the time or is not capable. Um, and so you, you'll see a little bit of that, uh, that stigma being broken a little bit once you peel back the layers. Um, you'll see some of that in, in the stories of these families in this doc. And I hope that a lot of people get to experience um, that widening of perspective through watching translators. Speaking of family, when, did they watch this movie and what do they think? They haven't seen it yet. I was oh, very lucky to see it in advance oh. and they will be able to see it after this premiere, but they haven't seen it. I've told them all about it and, and they're very excited to see and, and learn about the three families, but um, they haven't seen it themselves yet. So I'm looking forward to sharing it with them when we can. There you have it. We were able to meet with the filmmaker and the cast members of Translators. Check it out. Hi, I'm Virginia Vasquez and you're watching Awesome TV. My name is Rudy Valdez and you're watching Awesome TV. Hey, my name is Leslie Grace and you're watching Awesome TV.